Hi, I'm uh, Dr. Rob Stevens. Welcome to Mining Essentials. So I'm going to be the instructor for your course and uh, what I'd like to do is tell you a little bit about myself, a little bit about what we're going to cover in this course and uh, why you should take it and who are the people that uh, would benefit from this course. So to tell you a little bit about myself, uh, I'm a professional geologist and I've worked uh, mainly in the exploration side of the industry in different places uh, across uh, Canada. Um, I have a PhD in the geology that I finished at the University of Alberta working mainly on uh, geological mapping and mineral deposit evaluation on a project uh, in the Yukon. Uh, for the past uh, 12 years uh, I've been working at the uh, British Columbia Institute of Technology. Uh, for 10 of those years I was a faculty member and the program head of the Mining and Mineral Exploration Department and uh, now I'm the Associate Dean of Natural Resources and I manage a whole range of programs in the natural resources uh, area. I'm also the author of uh, this book, uh, Mineral Exploration and Mining Essentials, that was published uh, early in 2011. So what are we going to uh, cover in this course? Well, we're really going to cover the full life cycle of the mining industry, from the prospector who uh, uh, is out looking for that little shiny piece of uh, mineral in the ground that could be the next big deposit, uh, through to the uh, construction and building of a new mining operation that could cost more than three billion dollars all the way through to the closure and reclamation of that mine uh, back uh, to returning the land back to a, uh, a natural state. In a lot of ways I'm going to tell you the story of the mining industry and uh, I think it's a really interesting story. It's a story that involves science, it involves engineering, business, uh, finance, and a whole lot of entrepreneurialism um, and all I think built around a, a spirit of discovery. It's, uh, it is a very exciting industry to be involved in and I think also uh, to learn about as well. And so who should take this course? Well the course is really designed for um, those that are working in or interested in the exploration and mining industry but don't have a science or engineering background. I'm sure that many of you have heard terminology, uh, geological terms or mining terms and you're not quite sure what those are, uh, this course will go through that and help you understand some of those technical science terms uh, and engineering terms that describe the different parts of the industry. So I think it's really suitable for a lot of business professionals such as uh, lawyers and accountants, directors, uh, government regulators, securities regulators uh, and, and really anybody in the business uh, community who uh, is working in a capacity that, that brings them in, in touch with the mining sector. I think it's also going to be really valuable for those in the investment side of the industry, uh, whether you're a broker or a fund manager, or uh, you know, a, an investor who uh, is wanting to better understand uh, what a press release on, on drilling results uh, really means and how they can interpret that to uh, make better informed investment decisions. I also think it's going to be of interest to a wide range of, uh, of community leaders, uh, Aboriginal leaders, uh, government regulators and the general public who, who want to learn more about mining and, and uh, understand how it can uh, benefit uh, their community uh, or the people that they are uh, representing. Um, so uh, a whole number of different groups I think will really enjoy the course, uh, I think you'll find it exciting. Um, I think you'll be maybe surprised at how interesting some of the science and engineering is and some of the interesting methods that are used to uh, recover uh, those valuable materials that are so important to our society today.